Hey everybody, I am back with another vlog and hopefully I grabbed your attention with that sensationalized title. I'm gonna get to that in a minute because I honestly do think I kind of screwed something up. But before that, I wanna do a quick update because I haven't done one of these in a while and bring you all up to speed on what I have going on. As I mentioned, probably in the first vlog that I ever made was that my whole purpose in doing this YouTube channel was to try to build a community and try to get out and ride with a lot of you more often. I've been using the channel to do that. When I went to the Sedona Fat Tire Festival, when I went to Santos Fat Tire Festival, they were awesome. So now I have some more cool stuff coming up in June that I wanna get you guys involved in. You might have noticed on my channel, the past few months I did some uh, demos at the Sea Otter Classic. I did some bike builds with uh, Canned Aid and we did one event in Phoenix where we gave 72 kids an entire first grade class free bicycles. I can't even begin to explain to you how awesome it is to grow up as a kid riding bikes, become a pro rider, and then be in a position to work with companies to give bikes back to kids. It's unbelievable. Candy does this stuff all the time. Last year we gave away 1,600 bikes. I go to some of the donations, but I can't make every single one. But in the next couple weeks I have a few that I will be at. So if you want to get involved, the first event that I have coming up is May 29th. It's at Squatters Brewery in Salt Lake City, Utah. So we're going to be doing that the evening of the 29th. I'm going to put the information below. Go to the Candade website to check out the information or just follow the links. And we're going to be building 80 bikes because the following morning, May 30th, 80 kids, whole entire first and second grade class in Salt Lake City are getting free bikes. So if you want some of this good karma and to help out, come join me and build these bikes. The next event that I'm participating in is gonna be June 1st in Lyons, Colorado. We'll be meeting at Hall Ranch. We are going to do a Candaid fundraiser ride. So if you follow my channel, you might notice uh, two years ago, I did a video from a trail called Bitter Brush and it is in Lyons, Colorado. It's a super technical climb. We're gonna hit that climb. I'm gonna give you some tips. So it'll be like a rolling how-to. We're gonna do a good fun ride and we're gonna follow it up with some post-ride beverages and it's gonna be an awesome fundraiser for Candade. June 2nd, the following day, is the Lions Outdoor Games and the Burning Can Festival. So last year was my first time going and it was super fun. So I'll be doing demos there on Saturday and then I'm also leading a free group ride that day also. So you can go to burningcan.com and you can check out how you can watch one of my trials demos or how you can ride with me. And then last but not least, Monday night, we're gonna be doing a ride at a full cycle in Boulder, Colorado. We're gonna go out for a couple hours. We'll come back to the shop. We'll have some post-ride beverages, hang out, chat. So if you're in Boulder and you're around on Monday, June 4th, definitely come to that. I'm gonna list all the stuff below. So if you're in Utah or Colorado, make sure you come out to these events. I'm gonna list all the details below in the description. A couple weeks later, I'll be at Nemba Fest in East Burke, Vermont. This is a festival that I've been going to forever. It's probably the biggest festival close to my home in New Jersey. So it's basically like a homecoming. Last year was the first year that I hosted Trail Boss Rides at it. So I did a promotion on my Instagram page and the Nemba Fest Instagram page, as well as Facebook. And all you had to do was comment, I wanna be a Trail Boss on both pages and you were entered to win. So last year I picked six riders for Saturday and I picked six riders for Sunday and they came along and I made them the stars of a Trail Boss video. We're gonna do that same thing this year, but we're gonna make it even bigger. I have more sponsors involved this year. Everybody's gonna walk away with some swag. We'll get to ride, we'll have a good time. So make sure that you follow my social media, at Jeff Lenoski on Instagram or Ride With Jeff on Facebook so you don't miss the details. But that's gonna be June 22nd through the 24th. All right, so those are gonna be your chances in the next month to come hang out with me, ride, meet, and have a good time. So make sure you follow my social media so you don't miss out. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about was part of building this community is trying to make all of you trail bosses yourself. I want to inspire you to go out and ride the fun trails yourself, seek out the technical stuff, and challenge yourself. Being a trail boss doesn't have to be riding something crazy. It's all whatever you want to challenge yourself. For a beginner rider, riding down a skinny log on the ground could be the world's biggest challenge, and for an advanced rider, it could be 
hucking off a cliff. Who knows, it's what you make it. But I wanna try to make some videos showcasing my fans. So on Instagram, post some videos up and hashtag trail boss and then tag me at Jeff Lenoski so that I know that you're putting that out there for fair game. And then my goal would be within the next couple weeks or month or whatever uh, to accumulate enough footage to make a video where I could showcase all you guys on my channel and comment on it, maybe give you some tips, maybe we have a laugh at something, whatever, but just have a good time and try to build the community even more. So make sure you post some stuff, hashtag it trail boss, tag me in it, we'll have some fun. If you've been watching these vlogs, you know the fact that I've been promoting the fact that if you mail a self-addressed stamped envelope to P.O. Box 1123 in Sparta, New Jersey, zip code 07871, I'll put that in the description below as well. You can get free stickers. So I've been mailing out sticker packs like this, out of focus, some of these. Well, I have some new ones with this new drip logo. So I wanna get some of those out to you. So the free sticker thing is still in fair play. So if you send those self address stamped envelopes, you can get some free stickers. Now the next cool thing is I have my first piece of merchandise. It seems like every single YouTuber is doing t-shirts right now. I want to try to do something super cool. I think it's super cool. So I teamed up with a really cool pop artist, gave him the traditional Trail Boss logo that looked like this and he manipulated it into this. So, boom. These t-shirts are gonna be available starting tomorrow. I don't know if the if that link will be in this video the second you see it, but check back or check my Instagram. I'm doing a two week promotion where you can order these shirts. After two weeks, the baseball tee with the full color logo is gonna be gone. And these t-shirts are really cool. Three quarter sleeve, nice material, and it's a sublimated print so there's nothing to flake or fall off or anything like that, and it's full color. So I'm super stoked on this t-shirt. I'm gonna keep doing more, more stuff, but I wanna do them in limited batches. You either get it or you miss it. So for the next two weeks, this t-shirt's gonna be available. I'm gonna put the information down here below. I'll be putting it in each of my subsequent videos in the next couple weeks. Speaking of videos, I finally have gotten through my backlog of Sea Otter Classic. I had a couple of my fans commenting they want to see some more riding, and that's because I was in California for three weeks touring around riding for, I think, 7,500 kids. And while it is the most rewarding thing ever, it's not the best thing for getting hardcore riding footage. Plus, if you follow me on Instagram, you know the whole debacle. UPS lost my bike. I, I didn't have it for 10 days. I finally got it back. So now I've been riding my butt off. I have two videos from Asheville and Brevard, North Carolina in the queue. One of them is really, really fun. It's me taking my good friend Lance Trappy down a trail called Bennett Gap. I did a Trail Boss video on that uh, last year, and he's my old time trials buddy. You might have seen him in some of my videos on the channel. I took him down at Blind, so you'll get to see what a trials rider does on Bennett Gap riding at Blind. Um, I gave him some pretty good intel so he would know what's coming up and things like that. So it's a super fun video and then I have some other cool stuff in the works that I'll be coming out with in the next couple weeks. We are back to riding. I have an awesome backlog of some cool stuff that I'll be putting out over the next few days and weeks so make sure you don't miss any of it. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to talk to you about, how I messed up. So in my first or second vlog, I talked to you about putting ads on my YouTube videos and how I didn't want to raise the barrier of entry. It was my logic that if I didn't put ads at the beginning of my videos, then you wouldn't see an ad and you wouldn't click off it that maybe you'd give my video a chance and actually watch it. But I think that plan has backfired because when I watch YouTube on my phone and when I watch YouTube on my computer and when I look at the analytics on my computer, it seems like I'm preaching to the choir. My fans watch the videos, but I'm not getting anything from suggested feeds and it totally makes sense to me and I, I see it now and I realize that I totally screwed up. If I was running YouTube, why would I put a video that's not monetized on there? I'm gonna put the suggested video feed full of videos where 
YouTube could get a cut. I'm probably gonna start putting some ads at the beginning of my videos, but I'm gonna try to do the super unannoying ones that you could click out in less than three seconds or something like that. But my whole goal is to make these videos and get as many eyes on them as possible. But you could also help me out by liking and sharing these videos as much as you can. So that's my update. I look forward to seeing some of you in Utah, Colorado, and Vermont. In July, I'm gonna be doing a tour with Giant, introducing some new products. So I'll be all over the country again. So stay tuned for another vlog where I announce some of those dates. Some of the events are for dealers only, but I'll be in the area and I'll probably set up some more rides to just try to get out and explore some more trails and ride with as many people. So hopefully you found some useful information in this vlog. Hope you liked it. And until next time, I'll see you on the trail.